Justice is an unassailable fortress built on the brow of a mountain which cannot be overthrown by the violence of torrents nor demolished by the force of armies. The temple is like no other building in the world. It has towers and decoration and all the refinements which the human genius can conceive of. To achieve great things, two things are needed, a plan and not quite enough time. Pale death beats equally at the poor man's gate and at the palaces of kings. When you realize how perfect everything is, you will tilt your head back and laugh at the sky. Broadway is a main artery of New York cultural life, a hardened artery. established at Chichen Itza. The settlement of the Itza shall take place there. The Quetzal shall come. The Green Bird shall come. Our Cantonelle shall come. It is the word of God. The Itza shall come. Nothing travels faster than the speed of light with the possible exception of bad news, which obeys its own special laws. Why man, he doth bestride the narrow world like a colossus, and we petty men walk under his huge legs and peep about to find ourselves dishonorable graves. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy burdened, and I will give you rest. We live only to discover beauty. All else is a form of waiting. Most of us can, as we choose, make of this world either a palace or a prison.
Tortus Mundus Agit Histrionum. All the world's a stage. Distrust and caution are the parents of security. Libraries are the shrine where all the relics of the ancient saints, full of true virtue, and that without delusion or imposture, are preserved and reposed. They that go down to the sea in ships that do business in great waters, these see the works of the Lord and his wonders in the deep. With the magnificence of eternity before us, let time, with all its fluctuations, dwindle into its own littleness. The art of war teaches us not to rely on the likelihood of the enemies not attacking, but rather on the fact that we have made our position unassailable. soars to a height to match the sky, and as if surging up from amongst the other buildings, it stands on high and looks down upon the remainder of the city, adorning it because it is a part of it, but glorying in its own beauty. I think that if ever a mortal heard the word of God, it would be in a garden at the cool of the day. The Bushido is realized in the presence of death. This means choosing death whenever there is a choice between life and death. There is no other reasoning. The wonder is not that the field of stars is so vast, but that man has measured it. Building one space station for everyone was and is insane. We should have built a dozen. a fortress on a hill, 
that armies cannot take or floods wash away. Don't clap too hard, it's a very old building. genuine work of art has as much reason for being as the earth and the sun. Few romances can ever surpass that of the granite citadel on top of the beetling precipices of Machu Picchu the crown of Inca land. The whole earth is the tomb of heroic men, and their story is not given only on stone over their clay, but abides everywhere, without visible symbol, woven into the stuff of other men's lives. The location is one of the most beautiful to be found, holy and unapproachable, a worthy temple for the divine friend who has brought salvation and true blessing to the world. Architecture has recorded the great ideas of the human race. Not only every religious symbol, but every human thought has its page in that vast book. Oracle said that I was the wisest of all the Greeks. It is because I alone of all the Greeks know that I know nothing. Earth proudly wears the Parthenon as the best gem upon her zone. In preparing for battle, I have always found that plans are useless, but planning is indispensable. Who drinks the water I shall give him, says the Lord. We'll have a spring inside him, welling up for eternal life. Let him bring me to your holy mountain in the place where you dwell, across the desert and through the mountain to the canyon of the crescent moon. Things always seem fairer when we look back at them, and it is out of that inaccessible tower of the past 
that longing leans and beckons. This loss of freedom means the fading from human life of values infinitely precious to it. There only remain ironbound conditions of employment and trivial amusements for leisure. of death which come upon thee enter into my body. I am the god Tem, and I am in the foremost part of the sky, and the power which protecteth me is that which is with all the gods forever. peculiar light. Give me your tired your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free, the wretched refuse of your teeming shore. Send these, the homeless tempest tossed to me. I lift my lamp beside the golden door. He spoke, the son of Cronus, and nodded his head with the dark brows, and the immortally anointed hair of the great god swept from his divine head, and all Olympus was shaken. Time crumbles things. Everything grows old and is forgotten under the power of time. Those who lose dreaming are lost. The Taj Mahal rises above the banks of the river like a solitary tear suspended on the cheek of time. so much for its beauty that the forest makes a claim upon men's hearts, as for that subtle something, that quality of air, that emanation from old trees that so wonderfully changes and renews a weary spirit. Regard your soldiers as your children, and they will follow you into the deepest valleys, 
Look on them as your own beloved sons, and they will stand by you even unto death. Painter is not simply someone who looks and who sees. Above all, the artist is someone who exposes a personal vision by rendering it visible. <laughs>